this video, we will prove the Bayer category theorem. First, we will define metric spaces and completeness of metric spaces. Then, we will look at the topology of metric spaces, which is necessary to state and prove the Bayer category theorem. Finally, we will prove the theorem itself. Given a set X, a function D that maps the Cartesian product of X and itself to the real numbers is a metric on X if for all X, Y in X, D of X, Y is greater than or equal to zero, plus D of X, Y equals zero if and only if X equals Y. D of X, Y equals D of Y, X. And for all z in x, d of x y is less than or equal to d of x z plus d of z y. This last condition is called the triangle inequality. If d is a metric on x, then the ordered pair x d is a metric space. For example, a set of real numbers is the metric d of x, y equals the absolute value of x minus y is a metric space. Let x, d be a metric space. A sequence x sub n in x converges to an element x in x if for all epsilon greater than zero there exists a big n in the natural numbers such that n is greater than or equal to big n implies d of x of n x is less than epsilon. The sequence x of n in x is a Cauchy sequence if for all epsilon greater than zero. There is a big n in natural numbers such that m n are greater than or equal to big n implies d of x of n d of x of n is less than epsilon. Now we show 
and every Epsilon neighborhood is an open set. Let Y be an element of B sub Epsilon of X. Set Epsilon prime equals Epsilon minus D of X, Y. For all Z in B sub Epsilon prime of Y. D of X, Z is less than or equal to D of X, Y plus D of Y, Z is less than D of X, Y plus Epsilon minus D of X, Y equals Epsilon. Thus, V sub Epsilon prime of Y is contained in V sub Epsilon of X and V sub Epsilon of X is open. A set E contained in X is open if and only if the complement of E is closed. First assume E is open. Let X be a limit point of E complement. For all epsilon greater than zero, V sub epsilon of X intersects E complement. Then V sub epsilon of X is not contained in E. Hence, X is not an element of E, and X is an element of E complement. Thus, E complement is closed. But now assume E complement is closed. For all X in E, X is not a limit point of E complement. Then there exists epsilon greater than zero such that, v sub epsilon, such that the intersection of V sub epsilon of X and E complement is empty. Then V sub epsilon of X is contained in E and E is open. A corollary is that a set E contained in X is closed if and only if the complement of E is open. Given the set E contained in X, the closure of E denoted by E bar is the union of E and the set of its limit points. The interior of E denoted by E circle is the set of X in E such that there exists epsilon greater than zero with V sub epsilon of X contained in E. The closure and interior are dual concepts. The closure of E is closed and the interior of E is open. E is closed if and only if the closure of E equals E and likewise E is open if and only if the interior of E equals E. The complement of the closure of E equals the interior of the complement of E. And the complement of the interior of E equals the closure of the complement of E. Now we prove a couple of, a couple of results that we will need. Let X be a point in X and let Y be a limit point of V sub epsilon of X. For all epsilon prime greater than zero V sub epsilon prime of y intersects V sub epsilon of x at some point z not equal to y. Then d of x y is less than or equal to d of x z plus d of z y is less than epsilon plus epsilon prime. Because epsilon prime is arbitrary, d of x y is less than or equal to epsilon. And the closure of V sub epsilon of x is contained in the set of y in x such that d of x y is less than or equal to epsilon. A set A contained in x is dense if the closure of A equals x. A set E contained in x is nowhere dense if the interior of the closure of E is empty. If the interior of the closure of E is empty, then 
the closure of the complement of the closure of E equals the complement of the interior of the closure of E equals X. And if the closure of the complement of the closure of E equals X, then the interior of the complement of, of the closure of E equals the complement of the complement of the interior of the closure of E equals the complement of the closure of the complement of the closure of E is empty. Hence, E is nowhere dense if and only if the complement of the closure of E is dense. Now we state the bare category theorem. If XD is a complete metric space, then X cannot be written as the countable union of nowhere dense sets. Let O sub n be a countable collection of dense open subsets of X. Choose an X sub 1 in O sub 1. Since O sub 1 is open, there exists an epsilon sub 1 greater than 0, such that V sub epsilon sub 1 of X sub 1 is contained in O sub 1. X sub 1 is in the closure of O sub 2 equals X, meaning that X sub 1 is in O sub 2, or X sub 1 is a limit point of O sub 2. So there exists an X sub 2 in the intersection of V sub epsilon sub 1 of X sub 1 and O sub 2. There exists an epsilon sub 2 prime greater than 0, such that V sub epsilon sub 2 prime of X sub 2 is contained in O sub 2. Set epsilon sub 2 to be equal to half of the minimum of epsilon sub 2 prime, epsilon sub 1 over 2, and epsilon sub 1 minus d of x sub 1 x sub 2. Then epsilon sub 2 is greater than 0. V sub epsilon sub 2 of x sub 2 is contained in O sub 2 and epsilon sub 2 is less than epsilon sub 1 over 2. In addition, for all y in x, with d of x sub 2 y less than or equal to epsilon sub 2, d of x sub 1 y is less than or equal to d of x sub 1 x sub 2, plus d of x sub 2 y is less than or equal to d of x sub 1 x sub 2, plus epsilon sub 1 minus d of x sub, x sub 1 x sub 2 over 2, is less than epsilon sub 1 over 2 plus epsilon sub 1 over 2 equals epsilon sub 1. Thus, the closure of V sub epsilon sub 2 of x sub 2 is contained in a set of y in x such that d of x sub 2 y is less than or equal to epsilon sub 2 is contained in V sub epsilon sub 1 of x sub 1. Using the same argument as the inductive step, by induction, we can show that for each n greater than or equal to 2, there exists x sub n in O sub n and epsilon sub n greater than 0, such that v sub epsilon sub n of x sub n is contained in O sub n. The closure of v sub epsilon sub n of x sub n is contained in v sub epsilon sub n minus 1 of x sub n minus 1. And epsilon sub n is less than epsilon sub n minus 1 over 2 equals epsilon sub 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. Now let epsilon be greater than 0. Because the sequence epsilon sub 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 converges to 0, we can choose a big N in natural numbers. So let epsilon sub big N is less than epsilon sub 1 over 2 to the big N minus 1 is less than epsilon sub 2. For all m and n greater than or equal to big N, x sub m and x sub n are in v sub epsilon sub big N of x sub big N. And then v of x sub m x sub n is less than or equal to v of x sub m x sub big N plus v of x sub big N x sub n is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2 equals epsilon. This means that 
x sub n is a Cauchy sequence. And since xd is a complete metric space, x sub n converges to a point x in x. For each n in the natural numbers, x sub m is in v sub m slot sub n plus 1 of x sub n plus 1 for all m greater than or equal to n plus 1. Then x equals x sub m for some m greater than or equal to n plus 1, or every neighborhood of x contains some x sub m not equal to x. This means that x is in v sub epsilon sub m plus 1 of x sub m plus 1, for x is a limit point of v sub epsilon sub m plus 1 of x sub m plus 1. Thus, x is in the closure of v sub epsilon sub m plus 1 of x sub m plus 1, which is contained in v sub epsilon sub n of x sub n, which is contained in O sub n. Hence, x is in the intersection from n equals 1 to infinity of O sub n. Any intersection from n equals 1 to infinity of O sub n is not empty. Let E sub n be a countable collection of nowhere dense sets. For each n in the natural numbers, the complement of the closure of E sub n is dense and open. The union from n equals 1 to infinity of E sub n is contained in the union from n equals 1 to infinity of the closure of E sub n, which is equal to the complement of the intersection from n equals 1 to infinity of the complement of the closure of E sub n by the Morgan's law. Because the intersection from n equals 1 to infinity of the complement of the closure of E sub n is not empty. This complement is not all, all of x, completing the proof.